Welcome to St. Paul Cathedral. We invite you to pray with us as we celebrate Friday of the third week of Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Dan Walsh. Please join in singing hymn number 570 in the worship hymnal. To Jesus Christ, our sovereign King, 570. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourself with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay. But my just one shall live by faith and if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the Lord comes 
by the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is the refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, this is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sicklet once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up, and becomes the largest of plants and put forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus in the the parables for today is very specific. He's teaching about the kingdom of God. And he uses these images of seed that is sown and it is sown and the, the person who sows it goes to bed and sleeps and then wakes up and the kingdom is growing without them knowing or the seed is rather, the seed is growing without him knowing how this is being accomplished. And it is not the the sower, although the sower has a role to play. It is growing because it is supposed to grow. And it is not of his, he, he does his job, he offers his part, but it is something else that is in control. And as I listen to this, you know, I'm sure that many seed catalogs have been delivered to homes and the, those among us who like to have a little garden are probably wondering when we can go out and turn the soil and, and do our part. But you know, I've planted so many gardens and I never know what they're going to produce. Some years you're gonna have an abundance of tomatoes, another year it might be the basil is really good and the tomatoes just aren't giving what you expect. We're not in control. And I think that as Jesus begins teaching about the kingdom, the one thing is that we are not the ones in control. If that is the case, we can still see signs of the kingdom. Think about that. In our midst and among us and in other parts of the world, the kingdom is evident and it is God's work. 
and we cooperate, we do our part, but it is God's work. For us who celebrate our faith daily, for us who participate in the masses and in our prayer life and in our devotions and in our service and in our love, who offer mercy, we need to be experts in finding the signs of the kingdom present among us. The world needs our vision and the world needs us to announce that indeed the kingdom of God is among us. We are people of hope. And as one goes out and scatters the seed, they do so in hope that they will see its fruit. We work for the kingdom and we hope that it will continue to grow and expand. But we also have eyes, we also have hearts, we also have spirits to recognize and announce the kingdom of God as it is seen, because indeed it is God's work. Indeed, it is God's kingdom. Let us stand. With faith and hope, we ask our loving God to hear and answer our prayers. Please respond, hear us, O Lord. For God's holy church, that she may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to follow the Lord with focus and zeal. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us. For the world, may God guide the leaders of all nations in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Yes. For all who suffer from feeling inadequate or unworthy, may they find peace in God's providence and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us. For peace and justice in our homes and communities, may he who is acclaimed as beloved son dwell in our hearts and fill us with his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us. For all who have died, may they soon rest in eternal light and peace of Christ. And in particular at this Mass, we pray for the living and deceased members of the Butch and Impavado families. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us. Loving God, we ask you to hear and answer the prayers that we make in faith through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord have the sacrifice in your hands. Praise and glory to thee. For our good will and all the Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, <clears throat> defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And just a reminder, if you would please be so kind as to leave the kneeler down at the place where you are in the pew. We have very generous people who help afterwards by sanitizing and cleaning the church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing hymn number 720, The Kingdom of God, 720. 